drummers, Jim Lindsner here. I got a great, super exciting lick for you, and it's so easy to learn. You're not gonna believe this. Um, this is for big, huge song endings and drum solos and super intense fill applications, okay? Here it is, we're gonna get there in three steps. Step number one, six notes, alternate sticking, floor, snare, snare, small, snare, snare. Again, floor, snare, snare, small, snare, snare. Here's what that sounds like. Step two, we're gonna move the tom notes up to the cymbals, okay? Instead of floor time, you're gonna hit the crash. Instead of small time, you're gonna hit the left crash, okay? So, when you hit the cymbals, hit a bass drum with it. Right crash, snare, snare, left crash, snare, snare. Right crash, snare, snare, left crash, snare, snare. Here's what that sounds like. Final step, we're gonna move the last two notes to the floor tom, okay? So now it's gonna go right crash, snare, snare, left crash, floor, floor. Again, right crash, snare, snare, left crash, floor, floor. Isn't that amazing? When you get that fast, it sounds so incredibly cool. And you know what? It looks cool too. So of course you wanna put that with a groove, okay? Uh, I'm gonna play an eighth note groove and I'm gonna play this fill at 16th triplet speed, okay? So it's gonna be like one and two and three and four and one triplet and triplet, two triplet and triplet, three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet, crash. Check that out. Okay, above and beyond that, you know, use it in a drum solo at that speed. Use it at the end of a song when everybody's going nuts, you can do that and it looks cool and sounds just totally out of control. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you have a great day. I'm Jim Linsner. More drum lessons at drumlessonsbuffalo.com.